All right, so since that I didn't have that much luck with the 7740X CPUs, uh, I will now try the uh, L652C batch 7350K on LN2 straight. So I haven't even tried this on uh, air or water. So uh, L652C is, to my understanding, probably the best batch among the 7350K CPUs. My previous CPU that did the 6.77W Prime was also L652C. So the chances are quite good, but of course not all of them are good. So uh, Maximus 9 Apex again. Thanks to Chokot for lending the board, as my MOCF is still dead and I haven't found a replacement. Samsung BDI Galaxy 710 GT Superflower 2000 Watt 8 pack power supply. So same rig, same procedure. So there's nothing really uh, new to it. So we can just get going and see if we have luck at least one of the CPUs that I have for this session. The inferno backplate. So yeah, so the trick on Maximus 9 Apex and all of the Asus Maximus series boards is to flip, flick the bottom switch during the uh, power down when you F10 the settings out. So have to be very quick when you do that. So shut down, I flick the switch and now it will load the reserved thingy. Just not sure that will it post successfully with the hard MEMS. It did, but uh, it requires one power cycle. Now it's 126. And I will load the Windows 7 OS. It's recycled from X299, so I didn't reinstall everything for this as I just want to get this tested quickly. Sadly it went to slow post, but yeah. Just have to wait a bit and it will get on and get to the OS. And I'll just use Turbo V Core in uh, Windows to change all the settings. Currently running uh, Cinebench R15 at 6.6 GHz and 6.4 cache. The cache seems very strong on the CPU, but it will not do 6.7. It's pretty certain I have tried very low vehicle, very high vehicle, auto internal, very high internal, etc. So 6.7 just crashes, like instantly. So it's not going to pass, but this efficiency is very, very good. So uh, it's, it would be easy, 770 points with like 6.7 GHz CPU because this cache is very high. So the cache was the issue of my previous CPU and uh, why my scores weren't that strong. But yeah, so... Uh, oh well. Not really my luckiest session, I have to say, but... I will not do any higher, so I can still try one notch high on the cache still didn't hang so now we have 6.5 on the cache so that's extremely high for a, an i3 cpu and now it crashed so yeah so 6.4 cache was the max 101 so now i'm trying uh, 12 o'clock the CPU without the RS3D really switch because there are some CPUs that don't like the RS3D really switch but mostly it happens so that you just cannot hit a uh, code box with the uh, switch on so uh, I don't remember that it, that I don't remember it affecting the maximum clock speed that much but we can still give it a go as we got nothing to lose Mine's 170.
still moving. Now it's full pot. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. So yeah, full pot. We can turn on cine bench. But yeah, it's it hasn't really been my lucky session this one because none of the stuff I've tried so far this weekend haven't been good. So it's just quite average average stuff overall. We can try 6.6 .6 one more time to make sure that we have everything working. So 6.6. .6. It should be able to pass. Yeah, so uh, 6.6 .6 seems to be the uh, max. So uh, this far it has been my second best 7350K of all time. So the best one is still the previous one, which did 6.77W prime, and this one is maxing at around 6.6 to 6.7. 6.7 is instant failure, so that will much that will surely not pass. But this has amazing cash compared to that one. So uh, there's that. So we can still give one more try on the cash. So uh, let's open this. 1.85 on Vico and raise PLL termination to like 1.82. Six point five and six point six core. And double check on a CPU Z and it's all right. But it it's not certain at all that will it pass. And nope. So yeah, it's the max at six four. So that's pretty much it. So I actually got the CPU up to. Uh, like almost 6.65 with 6.4 cash so the performance is really great compared to the clock speed so I got R15 up to like 6.53 or 6 I mean 7.53 or 7.54 so if I had 100 megahertz higher core speed I would be at like the 7.770 mark near the top guys like Big Block and uh, David Miller but so can always win so the CPU will not go to 6.7 sadly so I cannot challenge any of those scores with the CPU so I'll probably sell this one or do something else with this because I don't have uh, anything else uh, I mean any other use for this I also tried as I said I al also tried the CPU without the RSVD switch as, as well as with it on there was no difference at all and uh, from uh, 0.9 internal PLL up to 1.4 internal PLL and also exactly the same end result so uh, I really tried everything possible but yeah just won't get any higher so that's pretty much it so now I'll just stop and do something else so uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time